All right, in this video, we're going to start looking at some of the cofunction identities. And uh, I've got all the cofunction identities listed down. And all of them, you could replace the pi over 2 with 90 degrees and get an equivalent cofunction identity. So here we're going to simplify each of these following expressions. Not all of them make use of this cofunction identity. So, you know, part of it is knowing when you can use it. And uh, basically, you can use it if, you know, the angle, uh, you know, at the beginning the first term is either 90 degrees or pi over 2. So they either have to be uh, pi over 2 or 90 degrees. So it looks like to me we'll, we'll only actually use this cofunction identity on this last one. So to do tangent of 4 pi minus x, recall we have our other identity. Uh, we've got our, our uh, identity for tangent. So in this case we'll simply get tangent of 4 pi. The identity says if there's a, a, a minus sign in between in the numerator, we preserve that minus sign. So it says we get tangent of 4 pi minus tangent of x. In the denominator, it says we get 1. Again, if there's a minus in between, though, we actually use a plus sign now. So we'll get plus tangent of 4 pi times tangent of x. Well, now it's just a matter of sort of uh, cleaning this up a little bit. Uh, tangent of 4 pi, that's going to be sine of 4 pi over cosine of 4 pi, and tangent of 4 pi is just going to simply equal 0. Okay, so really we're just left with 0 minus tangent x in the numerator. In the denominator we would have 1 plus, let's stick the 0 in there, 1 plus, well, 0 times tangent x. Well, 0 times tangent x, we can just get rid of that. All we would be left with would be negative tangent x over 1. So our solution in this case, uh, all of this would simply reduce down to uh, just the expression negative tangent x.